guys, Mr. Gosling here with a clarinet lesson, and we're going to do the tune Pink Panther. Uh, so if you're uh, kind of grade one, um, this is a good one after grade one to grade two. Um, I'll also, at the end, give you the music up an octave. So if you're kind of grade two to three, you can do the whole thing up the octave. But it sounds nice down the octave. Um, so let's have a look at it. Um, so it starts with A flat. Now A flat is the same as G, sorry. G with the G sharp key. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then that top key of the four. So the four is that top one. So if we just play a G and then put that little finger down on the top key, where are we? Here. That's our first note. So start with a G and then find that key and then go G sharp or A flat to A. Like that. It happens a lot in this piece. You're going to move those two fingers. And the next two are B to C. So if we go. Which is those first six notes. So if we just try that again after three. Starting with that G sharp. One, two, three. Okay, so hopefully you've got that, and we've just got that ba da ba da ba da ba da, and then here's a bit easier A P A C E, and then we go here to an E flat, which we know is D with the side key. So you can use that D with the side key, play your E flat. If we look at the next rest of the bar. So if we play that whole bar, da 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 A G A. So we just do that bar after two. One, two. Let me just move out the um, way here. And then we carry on like the beginning. So we start with that G sharp to the A, B, C, G sharp, A, B, C, F, E, C, E. A, and then this is a new note for the piece, A flat, which is the side key. So we've gone from the low G sharp to the high G sharp. So we go. Hopefully you know that. A, like the A minor scale. Cool. And then the third line is the same as the first line. Um, so let me get out of the way. Third line's the same as the first line. And then here where my cursor is, we just do that high A, G, E, D, C, A. E flat to D. This bar looks complicated, but it's not too bad. All the E's are E flats, because we've got the flat sign there. And that rhythm is just those D's are tied. Don't go D D's. Just da 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 da. And then at the end, so we've got that E flat to E natural to high A. Okay? So just take a minute maybe just to practice the first bit. But let's now, if you've had a go, let's try the piece dead slow together. I'll count four and then we'll come in on that G sharp. Okay? So get that G. Let me just swing back. Get that G with your little finger ready because that's where we're going to start with that G sharp to A. Okay? We'll go nice and slow. Here we go. I'll make it a little bit bigger. After four. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
last line. Okay, that's how it goes. Now, let's try it with the backing track. Okay, so I've done a backing track. And we'll try the backing track slowly and see if we can play it. Okay, and then we'll try the backing track again a bit faster. So we've got four bars before we start. I um, hope you enjoyed that. It sounds great on clarinet, doesn't it? I really like that. So um, I'm going to go a bit quicker now and we'll play together a little bit quicker. Um, just a quick word on dynamics. I'm, I'm playing a bit louder just because of the microphone, but um, this P, play quietly. So we start quiet and these staccatos is bad up, dead short, bad up, cut the notes off short if you can. And then here a bit louder, ba, and then back to quiet, get louder. Back to quiet, get louder, back down. And then here you shock them with that high A, the accent, that little arrow there where my cursor is. Ba da 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 da. That's like the surprise bit. And then you go back down to quiet, back down to quiet. And then the last bit, ba do ba, really loud at the end if you can. Okay, here we go. A bit quicker this time. Yeah, I love that one. Um, so have a go at that. But as promised, I will just show you the one that is up the octave. Um, I'll just leave it on the screen for you if you want to get a screen grab of this one. Um, I won't go through it because if you can play this up the octave, hopefully you know all the notes. Um, maybe I'll just quickly say that this high A flat here is that G with a little finger there. So that A flat is G with a little finger there. Hopefully you know that. And then the E flat is D with the top finger there. Just like the low A flat, but that's the E flat. Um, so yeah, have a go at that up the octave if you want. Um, and what I'll do is I'll let the backing track run one more time without me playing. I'll go a little bit slower. I won't play this time. And see if you can work up to playing along to this.
that's okay. Um, give me an email if you need any more help with that or you want me to send you the sheet music through. That's really not a problem. Okay, guys, hope you're all well. Bye.